Hi guys, I'm gonna go over daily homework page number 122 with you. So your first question is 1,687 plus 3,472. I'm going to use the uh, just stacking method. It looks like we might have a bit of carrying to do as part of this question. So if I'm stacking, I write 1,687 1, and I add 3,472, okay? And before I start, I'm going to look at this and I'm going to say, well, 1,000 plus 3,000 is 4,000 and 600 plus 400 is another 1,000. So I think my answer is going to be about 5,000 when I'm done. Now I'm going to jump over here to the ones place. I'm going to say 7 plus 2 is 9. Uh, 80 plus 70. Well, 8 plus 7 is 15. So that'd be uh, put a 5 here and we'll carry the 1. Uh, 1 and we'll add six is seven, and another four is 11. So I'm gonna put one here, and I'm gonna carry the one here. And now one plus one is two, and two plus three is five. So we have 5,159. I said it was gonna be about 5,000. Looking at our missing numbers here, we have 89, 78, 67. When I look at these, I say, well, each time it goes down, and if, if I go down 10 from 89, that's 79, and then one more gets me 78, so that's down 11. And then 78 minus 10 is 68, plus another one off, or, or minus another one off, I should say, is 11. So it looks like we're subtracting 11 each time. So if I subtract 11 from 67, I'll get 56, and then 45, and then 34. You may have just looked at the pattern and said, look at the tens place goes 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, and the ones place goes 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. That'd be another good way to do it. Uh, my next question is 96 divided by 8. Well, I'm going to look at it like this. I'm going to say, well, 96 divided by 8. Well, I know 10 times 8 is 80, so that would leave me with uh, 16 left over. 16 divided by 8 is 2, so I have 10 and 2, so 10 and 2 is 12. So if 12 times 8 is uh, 96, then 96 divided by 8 is 12. Look at these missing numbers. It says 11 times 6 is 66. That means 6 times 11 is 66. It also means that 66 divided by 6 is 11, and 66 divided by 11 is 6. Last question says... Something times 5 is equal to 55 minus 40. So your first step is to figure out what 55 minus 40 is. Well, 55 minus 40 is 15. And so from there, I just have to think, well, how many fives does it take to get to 15? Well, 1 5 is 5, 2 fives is 10, 3 fives is 15. So 3 times 5 would be 15. Don't forget to do your Lexia for 10 to 20 minutes and write down what you read and what you learned. All right, guys. Thank you very much.